I have, I'm going to have to stick with the guy who's laying the plan down. I have to stick with Canelo. Uh, the reason why is the tangibles. The tangibles are his ability to sustain punishment, which was shown in the two Golovkin fights uh, by someone who is one of the hardest punchers uh, in boxing, especially in the middleweight division. And someone that can really box. Um, David is a fantastic fighter. Um, his thing is pressure to break you. I think Canelo has so many overall weapons that I would have to side with him in that fight. That's fair. Canelo, he's, he's probably the bigger puncher overall. But, you know, David is six years younger than him. Seven years, actually. He's 26. Canelo's 33. Um, and Benavidez had the type of punch output that just nobody could really keep up with. It's like, insane. Like, how would, how would Canelo deal with that type of offense coming at him, man? Well, I think it, I think one thing I could tell you for certain is he would his defense is really, really good. Uh, it would be better than good for that fight. He wouldn't allow punches to get in uh, because when he gets his hands up, it's really hard to hit him. And uh, he was his, his counter punching is fantastic, and he can and he can punch. He hurts uh, super middleweights. And one thing, David is a fantastic uh, aggressive uh, offensive weapon, but he he does have holes in, in his defense. He seemed pretty tough, but I don't know how tough it would be against somebody that can actually hurt you back. So those are the tangibles. And I just have to side with someone who's been doing it so long, he knows how to do it. Would you take Canelo to stop him though? I don't know about stopping him, but I know he would he would be touching him a lot enough times to put him in a trouble position. 